Hello and welcome to my podcast, Conversations with Cornelius, where I, Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan, discuss, chat and hypothesize on all things from fatherhood, marriage, comedy and everything else in between. From time to time, there will be special guests, but mostly it's going to be me and some regular contributors, including my main squeeze, Noel Patricia O'Sullivan, a.k.a. The Wife. So sit back, relax and enjoy Conversations with Cornelius. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and welcome to this week's episode with Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan to conversation. I <laughs> fucked it up now because we'll of Continue on. Yeah, all right. Just okay. Ha- Hello. I had a I scrap d- about the dregs of d- a bottle of Diet Coke. Well, I'll ask the listeners, okay? So I love Diet Coke. You love chocolate. You just had a big, massive chocolate slice of cake there. And wasn't I, massive. It was well, just a regular slice. You had a regular slice of chocolate cake. I, you asked me did I want it. I said, no, I'm okay. And because um, I had my eye on, th- there's probably a swallow left in my one swallow, bottle. Swallow, yeah. Left in my one bottle of Diet Coke. And I was like, no, I'll just have my Diet Coke. And then you asked me for it when you finished your cake. I said, can I have the, can I have the end of that there? And you said, no. And then I said, grand. And then you said, here you go, so, with your doughy eyes. And I said, no, it's fine. I don't want it begrudgingly now. Right back at you with the doughy eyes. Right, okay. So As I, I sit here with my one hour child free for the day. Oh, was I was I was I hanging around all day with my two fists up my hole? No, I'm just saying I'm <laughs> using my free hour of the day. Yeah. To uh, sit in here and talk to you. Like you fucking ignore the doors, off you go. If you don't Fine. <laughs> watch my fucking microphone. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, Is hello. it still working? Can you see am I talking? You're talking, all right, yeah. You're talking. Definitely. I don't know. Are you making any sense? That's another story. But we're here now anyway. We're here. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Conversations with Cornelius. My name is Cornelius. Um, it is the 26th of March, 2023. It is quarter past nine. I'm in the John Hume War Room. Uh, this week on the podcast, I'm going to be talking about my birthday week. I'm going to be talking about a health scare. Very serious health scare that came into this house this week. Um, and uh, not even joking about that, very serious one. We might talk about the absolute shit show that it was today going down to my sister's house uh, for a beautiful dinner, nothing to do with her and her beautiful family, but just which is just, just trying to get out of the house with the dog and the two kids and um, the mayhem that ensued there. And um, yeah, that's it. But before we do any of that, I'm going to welcome this week's guest up on to the stage. In case you hadn't guessed. And in case you hadn't guessed, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Tommy Tiernan. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, no, it's not Tommy Slash. Tiernan. Noel Patricia O'Sullivan, a.k.a. The Wife. Okay. How are you? I am great. Tired, but great. Yeah? Grand. Yeah. You're great. You're going so fast to say you're great. Well, there's nothing to be not great about, is there? No, no, Just because no. I'm tired, I can still no, be great. No, but it's good that you're great. It's good that you're great. You can just be tired. Yeah. Um, how are you so great? How are you not so great? Oh, would you just ask me how I am? You don't know how I am. Um, I'm just fine. Great, yeah. yeah. All is good, I so like why not be great? I, li- I like that response to something, you know, because usually when you ask people in general, how are things? Not bad is a very typical Irish answer. Mm. Not, not bad, yeah. Not grand. bad. Not bad. Or I'm grand. Or I'm grand. Or not bad. And like, if you think about it, how are you? Not bad. That's what you're. <laughs> you that's what the ball. Pra- like that's the. The level. The measuring. That's yeah. what you're using as your measuring baseline. stick. Yeah. You not know, bad. I'm not bad. Whereas when someone says, "Yeah, good, not too bad," or even "I'm grand," or as you said. I'm great. I'm great sets you vibrationally apart from everyone else. Anyone who ever says that to me, and I'm deadly serious when I'm saying this, and we're, this is not to do with the podcast, I always, I always kind of, I, I'm attracted to that type of person. Are you? Yeah. Better mind myself. Yeah, you better mind yourself. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Noelle Patricia O'Sullivan. She's great. We are, uh, as I said, we're in the John Hume War Room. It's Sunday night, as usual. Um, this last minute last minute dot com uh, now I'll tell you what I did do is I did record an episode of this podcast during the week that was going to be for this oh yeah podcast but it was 
So negative. Was it? Was it with yourself, like it was by just yourself? Myself. No, I will say it was before we got any news from the old health scare and all that kind of carry ad. But it was so negative. It was so down. I was so down and so glass half full. That empty. Em- <laughs> or, 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 do you know, it was empty. The glass was empty. I would drink, as I say on stage, I'm like, there's no glass. <laughs> you know, I'm just drinking out of the tap and happy to have it. But like, it was so bad. I'm on, I'm, I'm going to put it out as the, uh, as the Patreon episode. Um, so the patrons can actually get get depressed, it, get into my head Ooh. space during the week. Um, Look at you guys. So, but but you know when you're saying, oh yeah, here we are, last minute. That that w- I did have an episode done, but I had to. Um, mm. I just I was just like, do you know what? You I weren't don't feeling it then. I it don't want to moment in time. Gen- yeah. Well, I don't want to put it out to the general public. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I just don't want it mm. to go out to the general public. Um, and I'm I'm hustle- No, I will. I'm going to put it out as the patron episode. But um, we're gonna. Yeah. So I suppose. That's why I'm fascinated by your. But that is what you are. You are really a, gr- a, a very glass half full type of person in general. No yeah. Right? You really are. Oh, like, I am sure. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I think I definitely. I think I'm on the on the cusp between half empty and or, or half full and half empty. Do you know what I mean? I think sometimes, but I think you could you, go either way. I could go either <laughs> way, but you often pull me onto the good side of things. You know. Um, well, well, I call them the good side of things. But um, is there a, like is that just your natural disposition? Is that just the way? Because um, I, I see it sometimes. I'm honestly, honestly got no bit. I think there's probably a couple of things that. Um, well, I always say I live in den- I I row the boat in denial. Yeah. Because, uh, but I think it's more I don't let things inf- infiltrate me. Like you know, I don't really watch the news. Yeah. I get the snippets from the radio. I'll watch. I listen to the news on the radio, but I don't like the things that trigger me. I don't like the things that make me really sad. Other than Grey's Anatomy, like that's where I get it's my. It's true, actually. Not you. Not you say it because, like, there's a great movie called Django Unchained. Um, do you know? And it's about this, the slave trade in 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 America in the early. 19th century. No, good, thanks. 18th century, and it's a great t- Tarantino wrote brilliant, brilliant movie. If you haven't seen it, and um, it, it's been on a few times. And you'll just come in and go, "No, turn that off. Turn that off. I don't want to watch that. Turn that off." Um, and it's, I think sometimes with me, if I know something is upsetting, or if I know, like if I know the news is bad, I'll still tune in and watch yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas if you know the news is bad, you'll be like, you know, fuck the news. I'm not watching that. I want to keep my vibe high. Yeah, well, it's like like the whole thing with Ukraine and all of that, and like I still sponsored, but I couldn't watch huge amounts of yeah. of the unsettlement and and the war and all. That. I just couldn't like what I mean by the unsettlement is the movement of people and all that, you know. Um, but I think there's so there's that part that I try not to let it in, and even other people's tragedies, I don't let them. I don't take other people's tragedies into my own world because I just feel that you can have your own tragedies at any time. You can be really sympathetic to other people and 100 have empathy, but I just don't let it get into my core, like, you know, Mm. when there's really tragic stuff and you're bombarded by tragic stuff. I'll go fund me and like, and they have to be done. I'm not saying, and I have sponsored loads of them. But I just, there's a shell. I, I suppose there's a core. That's your way of dealing core. with it. Maybe, bang, I'm going to sponsor that. I'm not going to go into the depths of it now, though. Well, I will I will read it and I'll look. Now, I have discovered that there's a woman I need to unfollow her on TikTok that's terminally ill and she's got two young kids, however that's... But, like, I need to get that out of my, like... You just can't have... You're, you're there having time out. <coughs> and then you're seeing... And then you're in this person's harrowing world like yeah. you know you can't then you have to go back to your own two babies and get on with your own life but and you're bringing part there's <coughs> you're if you're unless you're really cold hearted you're bringing part of that with you so you have to not bring it, it or not, of, I, I, I totally not like, expose yourself to it yeah so then i suppose that's probably part of it and then uh i think it i think maybe because i had a L- good bit of tragedy young I there was a good bit of tragedy um well obviously daddy dying young and then 
in this in the following years there was a good bit of tragedy both in my family and external friends parents yeah. dying suddenly and things like that that everything else is yeah. doesn't compare so yeah. if nobody's dead everything's grand after that yeah I think we talked about this before probably I think that's, I think that's um, I think that's a that's but it's a, it's a very valid point like you know you you were it's not that you're desensitized to it but you're just you were used to it at a young age and you know that wallowing in it wallowing doesn't do no no it's not wallowing either isn't that probably the wrong phrase? no so it's it's the bar it's the bar of what okay. you set it can be worse nobody's dead mm. yeah so then the next bar is nobody's terminally like you're pulling yeah. it back into when you're in your own psyche and you've had so today what is wrong with us this evening? We're wrecked. We're, we're really tired, tired right? Yeah. So you're really tired because you were gigging Friday night. Yeah. You were gigging Saturday night. Yeah. And you got up today and went to see your son's match with your other two boys and your dog and your wife. And then we went down and had a gorgeous day in your sister's house. Yeah. With your mother and father and, gra- and, and your grandmother. grandmother. The boys you know, and the boys had a wonderful day but it yeah. was a busy and, and i had a busy weekend then was like i think it was kind of like um I, my mother has a great saying fresh hell <laughs> that was fairly <sighs> like w- you know i i kept my i kept my temper almost i left one <laughs> almost all the way there was one one uh, one burst where i was like if he not shut the fuck up i, I put don't the think he out onto the side of the road and you can walk home uh, I'm clearly not going to leave my kids walk home from Ratmore, but they totally believed it. <laughs> oh, it was. <coughs> it was hard now today. It's a tough back. one. No, <coughs> it, it wasn't a hard day. It was a hard no. trip home. That was. They yeah. actually had a ball, like, and they were actually really easy they enough. Were great. Uh, but like our dog did get maimed. <laughs> <laughs> not maimed. Got mauled. Got mauled. So we brought we brought Baxter. Baxter we got a new dog Baxter. a couple of weeks ago. A little golden retriever, Baxter. Uh, Baxter Cornelius O'Sullivan is his name <laughs> and um, he uh, I brought him down to my sister's house my sister has two dogs my sister's married to a, a, a lovely gentleman Coleman is his name and he's a great kind of a, a setting at the back where it's all fenced in and he was like no bring bring him in he'll be fine he'll be grand and he was fine he did like it now he, like they're two golden retrievers as well yeah. but they're they're bigger Adults. like and our well, a they're one of them is a teenager we will say yeah Buster's a teenager and then so th- but he was having like he was a bit shy first and we were in there and mm. but he was playing away like for a long time yeah I think we'll have to bring him back but anyway so they were playing away grand anyway and everything was going good we were all inside we're all socializing I'm still off the, the drink I'm after drink for Lent so I was just drinking sparkling water you were having a few sups um, in chatting to my nana chatting to my dad watching a match and the next thing my sister Su- my sister Susan was like oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god and I could hear <laughs> out the back and I was like oh for fuck's sake and I got up and I ran out and um, someone was after throwing out just some food that they were finished with yeah. out to them yeah because there was people that we were all in and out or whatever so someone was after throwing some food out so then of course this but I don't know was I'd say well, we was didn't actually, actually we actually didn't we don't actually know yeah, I'd um, say they were just going for the that's food, like, what yeah, happened. and that's what happened. You yeah. know, and like, uh, so Baxter got a a little nip on his just underneath his eye, so he's got a black eye now, and he was got a black eye from down in his Clarny yeah. cousins. We only have him fucking a couple of weeks. He's mm. already got a black eye. He's yeah, like he's our kids. Our kids are going around the place with fucking black eyes. Every day, Harvey could have one yeah. from Hunter, but yeah. yeah. Now we're not the giving them the black eyes, but they're giving each other <laughs> black eyes, and yeah. they're giving us plenty of fucking black eyes. But, but yeah. um, so then we had that. We had the, 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 the poor dog, and then we had the two boys. Then just. So we were extra sensitive, with, I think as well, we yeah. were extra sensitive with Bax on the way back because he was Bax. extra sad. So And he sits in between the two of them. He's got his seatbelt. Yeah. So he was in between the two of them, but we were just conscious that they weren't going to annoy him, that he would retaliate out yeah. of fear or, you know, after... Because it was a big day for him anyway because there was lots of people and he was getting used to people. the car to Clarny an hour a bit? A little well, bit. we stopped. Well, we it stopped was for like the match. We well, stopped for the match and then we had we stopped in Ratmore as well to give him a walk and Shout some water. Shout out to so. Celtic and my young fella who had an assist in their 7-0 demolition of some crowd kill Britain kill Britain actually. Mm. Sure, I mean, if there was ever a team that you'd want to beat 7-0 it's kill Britain. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> funny, um, funny, funny. 
But yeah, so yeah, so we're just t- so bringing it all back. You know, they're asleep now. They're upstairs. We got them home. They were fucking ravenous then as well on the way home, which didn't help because like you sure know yourself when you're starving, you're going to be fucking loud yeah. and cranky. We made them eggs, put on the pizza. Hunter was yeah, not hard. He'd loads of seats. Hunter was too busy playing, yeah. and I didn't force him because I was like, oh, he's having fun. Oh, yeah. But uh, he <laughs> he remembered then on the way back that he'd had all fun all day and actually he wasn't fed. And Hunter, <laughs> when you're listening back to this episode now, right, in 20 or 30 years' time, you need to realise how kind your mom and dad were to you, right? <laughs> and look after us, all right? And if I'm gone, look after your mother, all right? Much better than you have been already, even though I know you've been doing a great job. Bless He's him. a great little boy. But yeah, so we're just fucking tired from everything. From yeah, so that's enough from about from that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on to trending topics. Trending topics. With? Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because it's just a funny way of saying it. Like it's trending topics with Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan. Do it again. <laughs> Go on. Trending topics with Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan. All right, okay, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> hashtag spring forward. Bones fucking back. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well, it was crying frost this morning because the boys were suddenly up at quarter past seven rather than quarter past eight, quarter past six. Yeah. So, um, if you think of it that way, it's not too bad. Yeah, it l- it could work in our favour for yeah. it'll make them a little later. <coughs> um, what you helps that I'm not working tomorrow as well. So yeah, it's just the timing of getting. So they're. Boys are we have that hour to spare if you get me in the morning. Yeah. Um What do you think of it as a concept? Changing the time every year, twice a year. I don't like it. It should just be the same mm. the whole time. Whatever it is now, they should just let They were it. talking about doing it and weren't the UK not doing it and did that all go to Do you know why they changed it originally? They changed it because of school originally. It was like so that the kids that were cycling to school and walking to school was safer. Wouldn't be walking in the dark, you know. But nobody walks to school anymore. No one cycles to school anymore. And, and if, if they do, they have cities, high um, But if you're living, and if you are living in cities, it is all uh, lit up. But uh, yeah, spring forward. Hashtag Keanu Reeves. Oh, have no clue no why clue he's either. in. No clue either. Yeah. Really, I was. I really wish you had the like. What? If you put enough effort into it, that you had the like actual re- trending topic reason. But I could easily have the, the trending topic. Yeah, reason. but that you didn't know about, like you know, that we had this conversation without you knowing. But I suppose there's such a thing as called googling, like googling it as we speak. But but no, but no. One, one second now, I don't get your point. Like I I, n- I never really look into the trending. No, but what I mean is like if you were handed an envelope now because you and I both don't know why he is trending. Oh yes. And told us why. You'd be like, oh, is oh, he trending? Because yes, yes. normal, because when the neither of us. No, it is kind of shit. Well, but then there is such a thing as. Oftentimes, Noel, right? They're trending for no fucking reason at all. Really? They're, they're trending for no reason at all. And the whole the whole point behind the trending topics, I mean, Patrick O'Sullivan, is, is it's just a, a segue. It's just yeah, a I know, I know, but sometimes I'm intrigued then. Well, I'm going like to. someone like. I'll tell you what. I'm like, oh, I'm going why to, is he trending? I'm going to scratch your itch, okay? Um, and we're going to find out why he's trending. Do you know, in the interim, why have you one lollipop here? What that kind of war are you trying to start in the O'Sullivan household? I bought. Two lollipops, right, when we were in fucking Ratmore just today. Oh. And I gave one to Harvey, and then Hunter refused the blue lollipop, and I had to shout at you. I said, Would you get a pink one when you're in the shop? Because re- Hunter refused. He doesn't like the cola. He asked he, for a red one. He used to like the cola. But he um, asked for a red one. But he asked for a red one then. But listen Before to me, that. while I'm looking for Keanu Reeves, can you please tell me what you think about Keanu Reeves? I bet she's not even fucking trending anymore now. I don't really know much about him. He was the Matrix, wasn't he? He was the Matrix, yeah. But he was also Speed. He was. Did you did you enjoy Speed? That was a great movie. I'm Sandra, Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Do you know that Sandra? Do you know that San? No, he's gone off trending now. That's you guess. Know that San, Sandra Bullock or Sandra Bullocks? Sandra Bullocks uh, had a fierce crush on Keanu Reeves when they were making no Speed, and he had a fierce crush on her, <gasps> and they never knew. Until 20 years later, what? when they both told each other, but they were both married at that stage. I guess. That, guess? that is funny. Yeah. You know, um, Sandra Bullock, great actress. Mm-hmm. Keanu Reeves, um, is he a great actor? Like, I mean, I liked The Matrix. I enjoyed the Did movies. You? I really do. And he plays Neo. He's unreal at playing Oh, and Neo. the surf one. Sure, he's great in that. He's cop. good in that point. Uh, no, I don't know. Point break. That. Point is break. It? 
not sure. It's a great he's, old school one, though. Like he's pretty gorgeous in it now. Like, do you know what I mean? Does he need to be able to act? Oh, sorry, me too, and all How that. How dare you? How <laughs> take <laughs> do that you feel back? Vil- if Keanu was here now, he'd be fucking very quiet because he's an introvert. You oh know, yeah. and he wouldn't say anything. He'd just take that as an, that insult as a something to. And he also, he'd have, he's in some terrible bad luck. Um, oh, a lot of his family have. A lot of them have have died, and like I think his wife died, and his sister died, and yeah. <laughs> move off him. We'll be able <laughs> to see next you later, time. Keanu. Hashtag <laughs> hashtag, and we were talking about this as well. Today. You, I think we were talking about it today. Hashtag Tommy Tiernan show. Oh yeah, I All think right. we were talking about him last week as well too. But anyway, yeah. So he potentially. Oh, the show or Well, that's him? what's trending, but oh like, yeah. I just like thought it might be a nice w- segue into what we were talking So basically, the Late Late Show, right? Ryan Tuberty's gone from the Late Late Show. That's and not trending for some reason. Well, that's um, last week's old news, I suppose. Yeah. So I just said I'd put in the Tommy Tieran because we did talk about him the last time we were on, but like, there's basically an opening now for the presenter. I would in the be Late really Late surprised. Show. Supposedly, he's one of the top favourites to see that was what was the well conversation today but he stopped their po- they stopped their podcast this week <coughs> their most one of the most successful podcasts in Ireland is the Tommy Hector and Larita show Jesus right. there's an opening con Tree so Lee slash tre- oh <laughs> I mean, maybe Carly Lee. <laughs> well, Tree by Lee, take it, yeah. Brilliant. We're three people mm. as well. Yeah, absolutely. I don't mind. Bring There's an opening on. for a tree way. Mm. But basically, well, yeah, there is, I suppose. Yeah, and if we can, we t- we'll take their spot. We can, we can go three by Lee. But like, Dave's, that podcast has stopped. That's a very successful podcast. Mm. It's like up there in the top one, two, or three podcasts. In All the, the time in the comedy yeah. world. And they've, they've put the pause on us, is what they've said, till September. Now, I know. T- Tommy will be uh, Tommy's on tour and stuff like that and be doing a lot of gigs during the summer so that could definitely have something to do with it but I, I reckon that um, it could very well because they didn't have a, a return date a specific return oh, date oh right yeah, yeah, it's so opening up that it potentially it's forever they've stopped it's well it's all, well, and, and running the podcast is hard and running the podcast with three people is definitely more complicated than doing this like I mean li- li- exa- the example is this needs to go out tomorrow um and I can still do it at nine o'clock on a Sunday. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Whereas to try and get yeah, and three Chris people into the yeah, same yeah. room on a Sunday it would be a different kettle of fish. So I think Tommy would be a great presenter for the next yeah, show. Yeah, so do I. I just don't think I'd be really surprised if he's not much of a yes man. Like yeah, if so they went with him yeah. like that, he would. He'd be great, and I think if they got the same guests. That they were getting on, and he had the f- the free way to yeah. to actually ask questions and. If they restructured the Late Late Show and p- use the structure that the Tommy Tiernan show has, and had the ca- and have the caliber of guests that the that the Tommy Tiernan show has, we has brilliant guests. On the Late Late Show, there's absolutely fucking terrible guests. Yeah, and here's yeah. Mary now who break the cake. She's after baking the second biggest cake in County Leash. Mm. Here she is. Come on, on Mary. And it's, I suppose it's the variety of guests that yeah. are like some are really well known and some aren't known at all. And and that gives fierce like and giving credibility to the you know to to artists or to or to to people who you wouldn't have heard of who would never mm. get on the late late show because their profile isn't big enough yeah but you tune in to the late late if, if you like without having known who to guess on if if tommy was uh, yeah presenting. yeah well i sp- sure i suppose look sure people are doing it all the time for his own show yeah so right that's my um oh yeah you're right fucking move on right okay, right, okay. <laughs> i'm okay. sick of talk <laughs> yeah I, do i do that all the time when yeah. i'm sick especially for trending topics because yeah. i'm like right i've enough talk about that yeah. random right. stuff okay um we're moving we're, i'll tell you now what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about a little bit of a health scare I think you're the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's the phone so the i had a health scare all right um something showed up in my chest x-ray and the doctor used the word chronic when he was explaining it to me and i went from that then to thinking that i was had you know a couple of weeks to live right. well you got you rang on the wednesday yeah so you had been trying to ring since the monday or trying to get through or whatever and you kept missing the doctor because you had the persistent cough well i'm sick since december yeah and it's a persistent cough and just not being able to get better and, and l- lack of energy and yeah the first time i went to him he was he said like this doctor that i'm going to know i actually he's unreal he's very good he's very yeah. thorough he 
They sent me for a chest X-ray and um, told me to ring back. And then I was, and I rang, I ring, or to make an appointment for six weeks' time. And because I'm a man, I didn't bother doing that. Uh, I said I should be grand. Uh, and I thought I was better a couple of weeks ago. And I was still sick at the beginning of this week. And I was complaining to you, and you were like, "Ring the fucking doctor." Find out what the fuck was the story with the blood Get tests. more antibiotics. Get whatever. Yeah. Get it out of your system. Find out. It's not and clear. And then you just... It was kind of a throwaway thing. Find out if the, the x-ray thing is back. Because I'd t- genuinely forgotten about it. Anyway, um, did that. And he was... He said, yeah, there's something in the x-ray. All right, there. It's, it's, uh, um, chronic. Can and then Connie shut down. Uh, he said the word chronic. And then the rest of it was like white noise. Do you know that kind of way? <laughs> like, I genuinely didn't... I genuinely like, and I, I was like, "All oh, right, okay." And, and, he, and then he said, "Can you come in tomorrow?" Because I rang like on a f- on the evening, on the on the Wednesday evening, and I was like, oh, "No, I can't," because I had a physio appointment. Um, and but like, I just is just me not thinking right. And then he goes, "All right, okay, would you come in so on 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 Friday morning?" I says, "I will, yeah, no bother." And um, he hung <laughs> he hung up, and then he hung up, and straight away I was like. This was also on your birthday. Oh yeah, this was on my <laughs> birthday. This is I, I turned on forty-six DJ. during the week, and um, yeah, I, I, I like I was like, okay, that's it. How, 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 how long have I left to live? Will the boys remember me? Because I've often said to you, do you remember your dad? And you were like, not really, kind of a small bit. And I'm like, I can't believe that the boys are going to forget me. And this Aww. is where all I, yeah, this is where I was going with it. Like, and I was like, then, but then I thought of the podcast. I swear to God, and I was like, "Hang on a second, they're they're definitely not mm. going to ever not know me." Well, sure, your face is plastered so not enough I know, videos yeah, and stuff. But like, I do think that this is different, though. You know, do you know what I mean? I might mm. see a poster, but anyway, you went upstairs and you were in the toilet with Hunter, and um, I said, "Yeah, look, there's there's something in the old thing. He's, he's, it's chronic. I don't know." And, and you were like, "What? What?" And then. That began then a series of two days of the darkest, the darkest jokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 like Just got it, I hadn't fucking upped his life insurance. Like like that kind of stuff, and like um oh like the jokes were just so but like so like do you know I want to get measured there now for a for a coffin. Actually, is there any is there any place we could get a few deals on the coffin now? Like you know all this kind of or stuff. Picking out which room we'd lay him out in. Yeah, and what kind of sandwiches we'd make as people were coming. Like you're just this is this is what was keeping us going. And then, then you took Friday off. Thursday night off. I honestly thought I was walking in to get in the fucking like yeah you've three three weeks three months <laughs> to live kind of a vibe like you know because he said chronic he did say chronic like so anyway um you took the day off and. Uh, we went into the doctor and dropped the kids to school. We went into the doctor and uh, I will say this now, right? And I'm going to say this as well now if the boys are listening 20 years from now. You were unbelievably brilliant to me. Thank you very much. Unbelievably brilliant because I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and you were unbelievably brilliant. <laughs> I was and there with my notepad. Yeah, you had your <laughs> notepad. You took the day off. You you were you had the right amount of ju- you knew how to deal with me like you know and I love you for it thank you um, yeah anyway we went in there's fuck all wrong with me <laughs> <laughs> well there is potentially something wrong with you well there is compared to what I thought it was yeah but nothing in com- yeah <coughs> nothing that like I, well what is it actually well it's potentially CPOD or whatever it is yeah. but <coughs> it is a chronic lung thing but. He's 40, basically the doctor said you're 46, you can get a manage, get a hold on this and you can yeah. move, go forward and be fine enough. Be- inhalers, yeah. like, but like, can I add, no, no judgment, but did you take your inhalers, two puffs this morning and two puffs tonight? No. No, so, but that's, that's grand, like, but you're meant to be taking I now, I I I for yeah. morning and night. Well, I must go in and collect the prescription anyway. Um, inside, but like, <laughs> like we so we thought, like yeah. <laughs> Friday. Oh, Jesus, we'll have to be back in. Like, no look for the prescription yesterday, no look for the prescription today. But you have enough because he just gave you the same again. Yeah. But, um, but I'll tell you what's really funny, right? Is like, I, I genuinely went from like but you've damaged in your lungs from smoking, like, well, I've damaged in my lungs, that's, that's what he said. I've damaged my lungs from, from smoking, and I've, I've, sin- I haven't smoked now since the 14th of February. Not going smoking anymore. You're probably thinking, "Oh my God, how's he going to get his cannabis edibles?" I've been talking about that over the last few yeah. weeks as well. But I think that was that. That's the real. But this is the nail in the coffin. 
Oh, stop. <laughs> but yeah, like that is the, right, you're no young buck anymore. You, no. you need to be able to recover. You can't recover from smoking. Like, no. that's it. Well, in a way, there was a part of it that was like, okay, well, this is probably why I'm fucking so sick as well. Do you know what I mean? That I'm like... Added know, to it, yeah. It's it been added it did, to it. Like, like because you've even much better, like... You were much better on Monday. You were getting better, and you're way better today. Yeah. Like it's it's nearly cleared out of you now. Mm. But I would say having the inhaler in the morning and the night will probably get rid of the yeah. Well, I can t- I the I cough can. that when you cough. Well, the week before, yeah, when you were coughing and it was really catching. That was the yeah. the really when it was really really catching. But and I got a that's stitch in my side as well during the week, and I couldn't move, and I was down on the ground. And, and we thought that was back side. pain then, of course, from it. And I was like, oh my god. Is this my lung? It's I know. just a stitch. Now looking back, and it's like <laughs> you know no, I mean? but you do for for yeah. the, the as you said, you go to the you go well, to as you go to the darkest. But you but know, what was interesting. That's we my both went. Th- you went there as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we both went independent. Uh, um, we secretly, like secretly, yeah. No, we weren't trying to be. We were being like really positive in front of each yeah, other. Yeah, like it. really. Uh, ooh, yeah. the jokes, <laughs> like, but really, they were just the behind each other's back. Really covering my. Uh, deleting my search on my phone like not that he'd be able to see my search, search history I but know. you know if you pick the, but if you do and if you pick up a phone and just put in L lung would it come up like you mm-hmm. know or lung cancer but oh yeah 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 I was looking at all that kind of stuff and you were t- like yeah but it's but anyway, do you know yeah. what is funny though is the minute that not the minute like but like when he was like no you don't have that but you have this which is obviously it could potentially be Can quite be serious as well but like, it's not going to be terminal, and like, and you almost can within about an hour at. later, then I had totally forgotten how afraid I was. Mm. Isn't life weird that way? Like, I totally forgotten how genuinely how your life could have gone, like yeah. our life could have been turned upside down. Yeah. <laughs> What's the <laughs> thing of uh, Fresh Prince Miller? Oh yeah. Um, what is it? Do, do, uh, 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 in West Philadelphia, born and raised on a playground of where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing out, chilling out, shooting some. I really thought the upside down part came faster than this. <laughs> With a couple of guys who were up to no good. Started I make trouble in my neighborhood. And one little, little fight, and my mom, mom got scared. Said you're moving for Jandy and Uncle and Ballier. I was over a cab and when I came clear. The last time I was going. There was dice in the mirror. If I I think you actually. I pulled. Where's the fucking? Where's you missed it, I think, oh in, in your mumbling. Christ. That's really good. That's really good entertainment. That well, whole I tell you what, segment now, there. Someone is told me before they actually love listening to this convert <laughs> to us talk because we talk pure shit, <laughs> and it just is like listening to like it's like being a fly in the wall inside in our fucking kitchen. We, except that we have a few little topics written down here so that we have something to talk about. But what I'm going to say now is I'm going to move off of that, right? And kind of segue into my birthday week because what was all this happened on my birthday, right? Um, and what's really interesting is you and I are kind of at a like we've started to really take our health a little bit more seriously yes. in the last couple of weeks. And as we discuss this now, as we move into this topic, we did at the start of this say I had just had a slice of chocolate cake. Yeah. So everything in moderation, oh, guys, including moderation. And I'll tell you this. Um, we're not off anything. I'm not off anything. No. You're not off anything. No. But we're we're making different choices. Like f- for my like you, I got the most unbelievable birthday presents off my wife, guys. Right? Um, you got me a Nutri Bullet, right? Because our old Nutri Bullet was broken, right? No, it's unbelievable. Got me a juice presser, and m- and something then that I really was looking into for ages is a water filtration system which is distiller distiller and all I'd say of we could do whiskey as well in that if we wanted to well all, they're, they're, I know they're my birthday presents right but they're they're like family all, yeah they're yeah. fucking for us all like oh, straight away now the lads are drinking smoothies the you juice know, juices Harvey and, and his app orange juice and actually if anyone is looking at a juicer I got the centrifugal one with the centrifuge versus this kind of the, the sharp sieve one Oh my god, it's like game changer with how easy it is to clean. There's no brush. You're not trying to get all the grating parts clean. It's like this. It's like a centrifuge. So it's like a rotor that that presses against the outside of the tube. Yeah. And that's it. Like there's no, there's no s- like 
slicing of it. It's not like yeah. a like our old ones has like a really miniature sieve, mm. and you're trying to clean that. It was horrendous. Whereas this is genuinely as clean in three minutes. Yeah, and um, like they're three three brilliant gifts. They're gift they're gifts that are going to help our health journey. Well, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, to be fair. We were buying the, we were buying both the juicer and the Nutribullet outside of your birthday, so you were. I know, but it was yeah, just. But, I'm, but it just brought it a little bit forward, um, and that was one of the dark jokes. And just as we were about to get caught, just as Fuck we were about we to start juicing, <laughs> you know, all this kind of stuff. There's no point now. Should we raise well yeah. it away? Whatever. Well, we, we just want. discovered like we just need to eat better food anyway. Yeah. Even. So we are we are trying and. Um, like I, as I said, I'm I'm off. I've been off the beer for Lent. I weighed myself during the week. I'm down nine pounds. I thought you were down fourteen when you double checked it. Nine pounds? No, I was down nine pounds. F- sorry, down eleven pounds. And then the following day, I was down thirteen pounds. So I was down a stone. Fourteen is yeah. a stone. But you're probably down by the fourteen now again. Well, I'd say I'm probably fucking back up now after the weekend because I've ate a bit of shit food over the weekend. But I've been doing intermittent fasting and I've been eating r- very healthy. And you've been cooking some unbelievable, like. Just unbelievably healthy meals. Like you made a chili there last week that I've been telling. If Everyone. If I don't think there's me. anyone who's not. I'm now telling people if in, because there's people there's a big listenership in the states, right? My wife's chili is fucking amazing, and I know you love chili. And this is the thing, right? This is going to turn so many people off, right? It was vegan, and it was fucking unbelievable. Mm. Uh, like it was on. You are a meat eater. And you told me yourself. The nicest chili we've ever had. Between Including all. And we used to, meat. Yeah, we used to eat chili like all the meat, time. Don't you? But we used to have a chili all the time. Like that would we used? When you used to eat meat like that. And it was a big one. It was the, it, the chili you made was the nicest chili we've ever had in our whole entire lives. So And so healthy and, and nutritious and stuff like that. And that's So that's kind of... It's great that I don't have the big C because like now I can get on with this health journey um, and try and get myself back in shape and trying we're trying to do for the whole family i think we're just trying to be leaders for our own kids really like well it's yeah yeah it's just be more active and yeah get out and about and expose the kids to good stuff more stuff yeah what did harvey say the last or hunter like do you know i was cutting i was grating ginger for the for uh the saturday the la- yesterday was it and hunter was like that's the ginger i cut the ginger man like and you're going that sh- this tree like mm. he's talking about ginger like fresh ginger you're like that's, that's great exposure like and he cu- he put it in then so he cut it with his own yeah it's his own knife and he's very curious he, he loves to very cook. very curious and he does love to cook um yeah guys is um, that it yeah we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave yeah. it at that thank you so much for for listening everyone uh, I appreciate it uh, there was no episode last week because there's a bank holiday in Ireland. And um, I'm taking the bank holidays off. That's and you were sick. Uh, I was sick as well, but I'm still taking the bank Even if I wasn't, there wouldn't oh yeah? be an episode. Okay. I'm just taking the bank holidays off because I w- want to. But anyway, listen, I appreciate everyone tuning in and everyone listening. If you enjoyed the show and you want to help me out, um, tag me on Instagram. Uh, tag the episode. Say something about it and tag me on Instagram. Share the link, is it? Share. Just even if you tag me, then I can I can reshare it. And mm. yeah, every more people get to hear about it. Um, but anyway, even if not, it, it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, stay in by the wall. Peace.